Hello, I'm Tolga. And I'm Rafika. And today we're here to talk about Islamophobia. Am I? I don't know. Really <laughs> Being judged or bullied because of your religion can be really difficult and if that's happening to you that's not okay and there is help here for you. So Rafika, what is Islamophobia? In my opinion Islamophobia is when someone treats a Muslim person negatively or differently because of their religion so it is the fear of Islam. So Rafika, one of the ways someone might be Islamophobic is by discriminating towards you. What might that look like? So if someone's discriminating against you because you're a Muslim, they're judging you before they know you. And again, the judgment is based on fear or what people perceive as all Muslims to be, which ties into the stereotypes of what Muslims are. What kind of stereotypes could there be? So stereotypes are set ideas about people. The main one that we see every day on social media, in the news, wherever you walk is that all Muslims are terrorists. That's the main one that, that rings with, you know, Islamophobia. So being a Muslim does not mean you're a terrorist, but people can racially abuse um, people due mm -hmm. to that stereotype. And you see a lot of this on social media. I've seen a lot of it on my social media, on friends' social medias. Um, one of the things that surfaced recently is the Punishing Muslim Day. And personally, I'm quite scared. The fact that someone has the goal to do that and feels that every Muslim should be punished for the act of a, a group of people, it's terrifying. Racial bullying is a crime. What kind of ways do you think you can make it stop? If it's on social media, there is the report button. You can always ring the police if you, are, if, if you fear for your safety. There are ways to report it at school. There's the, the anti-bullying policy. The main thing is to remember not to be afraid to report the, the crime. Hearing bad things could affect your confidence and affect how you're feeling about yourself. What kind of things do you think you could do to help with how you're feeling? So if this is happening to you online, for example, I'd suggest taking a break from social media, going out, speaking to your friends, doing something that makes you happy, whether it's reading a different book or immersing yourself in a, in a new hobby. Just try to remember that whatever someone else is saying about you doesn't necessarily ring true. Um, again, if you don't have that support system, you can always contact Childline and someone is always willing to listen to you. Some young people might think it's a good idea to tell the person who's been Islamophobic to stop. What do you think about that, Rafika? Um, firstly, assess your situation. If you're in an isolated um, environment where it's just the aggressor and yourself, the main thing is to ensure that you get to safety if you feel threatened. So put your head down and get out of the situation. Um, alert the appropriate authorities, be that the police, child line or an adult that's going to report the situation. If it is online, um, the best thing, in my opinion, would, not, would be not to um, engage, because a lot of the time these people want a response from you. Just report the situation, block the, uh, block the person and delete the comment. Seeing a friend or someone you care about experience Islamophobia could be really scary. Well, it's the main thing to remember is that it's not your fault. It's not your, you don't have to feel um, the responsibility. Um, the things that you can do, if your friends reported it, you can also contact Childline to get support for yourself based on what you've seen and how it's made you feel. Um, people think that these things only affect the party, parties involved, but it, it does affect other people around them as well. And the important thing to remember is that there's always someone to talk to about the way it's made you feel. So what might you say to someone who's experiencing Islamophobia? The opinions of one person, even though it might feel that everybody has the shared and collective opinion of you, doesn't necessarily mean that there's no one in your corner. But to, to paint everyone with the same brush is not fair. Thank you so much for talking about this today, Rafika. Thank you for having me. Bye. Bye.